the games will be brilliant because you are brilliant. My daughter can and will do anything she wants in this life because she is the smartest woman in the frontier. Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Tricky Acid and welcome back to another Apex Legends video. What you saw there was Watson, the latest legend for Respawn's Battle Royale game and in this video, I'm going to summarize everything you need to know about her. Je t'aime de tout mon cœur, pour toujours, papa. I did it, papa. I hope wherever you are, you're cheering for me. So, who is Watson? Her full name is Natalie Watson, and she and her father created the Apex Legends Battle Royale ring, known as King's Canyon. So as a child, she was already acquainted with the rest of the legends, while her father was doing whatever he needs to do to make this amazing arena. Additionally, she's also a master of quantum laser mechanics, and she's possibly the smartest legend in the frontier. Not that it helps gameplay-wise, but it's pretty cool to know. And she's going to use her abilities to help her squad mates within the arena and from what I've seen she's going to be a very useful support character and this leads me to her powers. Watson has more interrelated abilities than any other character on the roster. She has electric fences and you can use 12 nodes at a time and you can place them in any permutation you want, giving the player complete freedom of how they wish to make these barriers and be as creative as you want. I like that. And if a teammate goes through the electric gates, it will immediately switch off so you won't harm them. Which is a great bonus, especially when there's a down teammate. But when enemies try and go through them, they will get stunned and also ping to your whole squad so you'll know where they are. Next up is her ultimate, known as the Interception Pylon. It shoots down bombardments such as incoming grenades, airstrikes or whatever, so if you're in a situation where you as Watson have made some electrical barricades to try and prevent any enemies from coming to you, naturally though, an enemy squad may spam grenades in that area to try and flush you out. Luckily saying as Watson's ultimate will shoot down any spam of grenades or arc stars, you won't have that problem. And you can see here how there's an airstrike about to hit this area, but luckily Watson's ultimate is destroying all of these enemy bombardments by shooting out these lightning bolts, so that way she can safely revive her teammates, so Watson is looking to be incredibly useful. But it gets even better. Her interception pylon can also charge your teammates' shields, and also the closer Watson is to her pylon, the faster it will supercharge her tactical ability, such as her electrical fences, so she can continue to put more barricades depending on the situation she's in. And finally, her passive ability, when using ultimate accelerants, they will immediately give you 100% charge for your ultimate, so collecting these will be very useful as you can then keep using them and placing more and more of these pylons around when you need them. That way you don't need to always keep staying in one area with the pylon and the electric fences. Instead, you have a lot of freedom with Watson, so if you're with a highly mobile squad, you can move around with them and place more pylons when and where you see fit, as long as you're collecting those ultimate accelerants and using them when you need them to quickly charge up your ultimate. For me, I generally like to play quite offensive, but Watson's ability sounds super cool and I love that she gives the player the freedom to use her nodes to create any style of barricade with defenses and her ultimate sounds so awesome. I'm definitely really looking forward to trying Watson out, I usually main Wraith but who knows I might switch it up and Watson might become a close second if not first. But with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give a like, let me know what your thoughts are on Watson, she's pretty cool and she'll be available when season 2 hits by the way, I'll have more news on that soon enough and if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you are always notified for my latest videos and I will catch all of you next time.